Hello everyone, welcome to Market Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 159 of Mountain Blade Warband. So right now we are maxed out. We have 35 prisoners and we have 122 out of 128 uh, for our party. So there are so many, look at this, there are just so many bandits in town. Oh, that's Sanyar Khan, huh? Wow, 299. Jeez. Okay, it's dusk. Uh, wow, look at all these. Are these renegades? No, that's caravan. Yeah, there are so many bandits around, except they're going very fast. So we need to go back to our town. Uh, can we buy supplies? Oh, uh, we need to sell stuff to them too. So we need to clear up space. Heavy flange mace. Stubborn step horse, step horse. Uh, we want to get that. So you will receive 147. Oh, we have so many horses. Swayback saddle horse, swayback saddle horse. Let's sell these. Uh, recruit villagers. Yes. Oh, now we're maxed out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that was a good. Uh, that was a good demonstration of the two tricks we learned in the last episode. Uh, so if we look at our party, we are now maxed out at 128 people. And I think that thing also allowed us to build up experience for our people, for our group. Uh, I think we I, th I think we took some uh, damage, right? Serenade Horseman. Wow, it can be upgraded now to Mamluks. Uh, cool. Uh, Vagar Veteran now can be into a Vagar Horseman or a Vagar Infantry. I think let's go Vagar Horseman. Uh, he will turn into a Knight. Uh, who else? Uh... Sweden recruits. Uh, we can wait. Peasant women to camp followers. Okay, let's move up. Uh, I mean, we have so... See, we have recruited so many people. In just two fights, we have almost maximized out our party. So we need to move Jerem Jeremus down. So if it, in case we bump into another fight, uh, we, he will not be accidentally right at the top of the list. Okay, now we can move on to Nara. So there are still so many, uh, like this, uh, what, are these bad? Yeah, step, step bandits. So there are so many of them. And all we have to do is look for people or, or bands that have prisoners with them. And it's evening, so hopefully by the time we get to Nara, it will uh, be past midnight. Okay, it's midnight. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. We picked up a total of so many experience points. Uh, and then the best time to save would be dawn. Okay, now we better save this. So we have a new day. 
and let us save this and save another spot because like I said I usually uh, have yeah so it's day 644 now in game time uh, that's what I this is what I've been doing and since I discovered that earlier it was very hard you know just recruiting going from village to village buying the stuff that they have you know uh, we're helping the villages but it is very slow Sweden militia to two Sweden footmen Uh, Sweden recruits to three Sweden militias. Uh, so at the same time, because we have our trainers, 13 to camp followers. Uh, I think they become uh, sword sisters or something. And uh, these camp followers right now, so right now they're carrying crossbows. So they, they become, uh, they can actually help defend uh, uh, our castle. So these are uh, Vega footmen. We'll turn them into skirmishers. Uh, Sardinian skirmishers. We'll turn them into archers. Anyway, uh, so we saved it at dawn and hopefully. See, look at these guys. Deserters. They have. Oh, they have seven manhunters. I would love to go after them. Uh, their speed is 4.7. The problem is we just don't have room for prisoners. Let's say if we run after them. Let's see where they go. Okay. Uh, so no pronouncements have, have been made yet. Uh, okay, let's go uh, into the tavern, see if there is, yes, there is a ransom broker. Okay, bring out your money. We have lots of people to sell. Watchman, not very expensive. 96, uh, step bandits. Oh, the sea raiders are still uh, the best bang for the buck. Uh, so, Sarenid recruits can become Sarenid footmen. Uh, who else? We didn't go down the whole list, list, right? Oh, into watchmen. Oh, these watchmen are expensive. They are four dinars. Oh, they're all crossbowmen. So, yeah. Oh, Saranid recruits can into two footmen. So these are the guys we saved uh, from those those uh, step bandits. Uh, Saranid recruits. Oh no no. Okay, we cannot do that because we are talking. We're talking to the ransom broker. So, okay, let's go to the garrison. Uh, the Saturday recruits becomes footman. Anybody else? Uh, Kurgit tribesmen become skirmishers. Okay, let's give all. <laughs> See, this is, and, and I am hoping that when we get out there, uh, that bunch of de deserters that we saw are still around. And uh, I'd like to run after them, uh, catch them, and recruit from their ranks of prisoners. So... I will be continuing to do these. Uh, I think these will graduate to men at arms. So no, no, we don't. 
Uh, right now we don't need to do that. Caravan guards. Caravan guards upgrade to merc. Okay, or mercenary. No, let's just give it. Give them to the caravan master. Uh, yeah, let's give it to the palace watchmen. See, they're now all crossbow men. So it's actually uh, we. That's why I said we have a mishmash of all kinds of. Uh, but in the end, I think they footmen. Uh, Swedian give all skirmishers. Huntress. This is from the peasant woman, I think. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy's Sarenid footman can become Sarenid veteran footman. Uh, no, no. Let's, the Sarenid horseman can become Mamluks. It can become knights. Slaver chiefs. So, so we're pretty lean at this point in time. Oh, let us get the bandits because there is that guy uh, who is there very accommodating ransom broker will take all so that's why I look at our composition here it's a whole mismatch of uh, all kinds of troops from all over uh, I think for castle protection I think I believe it's based on gross numbers when they do an automatic calculate it's based on how much it's not the quality of the troops I think that's only when we are involved uh, it's like when uh, in a in any normal battle and we lose or our our avatar dies uh, then the computer just do an automatic calculation and it is terrible the Mamluks die as easily as the recruits so I think in a castle battle it's the same situation so uh, okay, let us. So that is, I think, maybe another lesson. That's an assumption. I have not been able to confirm it because. Uh, but uh, the auto calc that happens in uh, castle sieges, where we are not around, uh, should be should behave in the same manner as a, in auto calculation when uh, in a siege or when we lose or when we die in battle or in a battle yeah and then uh, okay so right now we are pretty slim so we don't have any Sweden um, knights we just have the men at arms I want to these guys to I want these guys to become Mamluks so that hopefully we can catch more prisoners so okay uh and then maybe let's go to the marketplace because do we have some junk to sell no 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 uh let's see if we have any more oh we still have some junk to sell stubborn step horse step horse i think we will give this to uh arty manor uh nomad bow maybe to arty manor sway back sell that let the rest sell that oh we have to give this to our I mean to our tannery uh, okay uh, how much is bread going for and how much is okay oh okay um, yeah that reminds me we need to go to our tannery Oh, he still has one, uh, one hide. Okay, that is all for now. Uh, let's leave the castle. And we can check. I think we are almost at, uh... Wow, we're at 625 now! We, uh, when we started, we were at 555, I think, right? Uh, okay, and then these are the guys we want to go after. Right, they have seven man hunters and one farmer. And hold on. Uh, okay, I am excited. This, 
Oh, and uh, I, I think we still haven't heard the factions announce anything, right? Because sometimes in my excitement, I don't notice the announcement uh, by the factions. And then uh, I save over a save game and there's no going back. That means we're at war. <laughs> uh, a faction declares war on us. I did not see it. Uh, and uh, I saved over it. Uh, and then suddenly, yes, we are at war. Anyway, uh, I'm not ready to uh, to go to war. Uh, right now, Halmar has so much uh, elite troops. I, I moved all the elite troops, all the Mamluks, all the Sweden Knights, all to Halmar. So Halmar right now has almost 6,000 in terms of uh, salaries, uh, salary carry. Uh, and uh, they have, and Nara might actually have more troops than Halmar. And... Uh, who's this guy? That's our guy, right? Lord Regas. Uh, and if we look at our reports, uh, at the weekly budget, uh, rents from Oxhall, oh, it's gone down. Jeez. 5,500 only. And Kudan is almost not making, rents from Hallmar is also, also gone down. Wow. Nara has gone up. Okay. Ouch, our income is only 13,000. See the, and then there's a loss due to tax inefficiency of almost seven, 6,000. Man, so wages for Hallmark right now is 5,800, almost 6,000. Nara is only 1,900. Uh, how about uh, Oxhall, 2,200. So, uh, yeah. So all that mismatched troops that we have been dropping off at Nara is actually not not bad. Huh? You know, it's it's actually it's actually pretty good. Okay, uh, let's go after these guys. Thank you for waiting for us. They're going to 4.7. We're going to 6.8. Uh, they're dead. Uh, Kurgit Lancer. Oh, ouch. Reserves, follow me. Oh, I forgot to give, uh, I mean, I forgot to give the, uh, the flange mace. Whoa, that was a whiff. No, don't block me off, jeez. I'm trying to get some experience here. Man, this sword is so slow. Ah! Jeez, I can't get any experience. How am I supposed, how are we supposed to level up? So no casualties. We got 39 wounded. Wow, that is amazing. And so we get seven more man, man hunters, one farmer. Okay, uh, and then we get uh, oh looters. Ouch. They're not that interesting. Taiga bandits. Yeah, the looters just give. I think they only give 32 gold. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, did anybody announce anything yet? I mean, the other factions? Ooh, 220, huh? Uh, oh, it's morning? Did anybody announce any... Did any of the factions announce anything? I'm going to game log. Uh, village of Berglund has been looted by Emir Olaf's party. Boya Sabula, who came of Vegas, has been released from jail. Vilt has been looted by Duda Card Cannon and King of Vegas has made peace. So, yeah, as long as there are no declarations of war against us, whatever happens to the rest of the empire, we don't really care. 
Okay, uh, let us save this and then uh, to another slot. And then let's go back to Nara and drop off uh, the prisoners we have and the one I think we <laughs> and the one recruit we got. And then we can go back into the field. Uh, let's go to the garrison. Uh, yeah, let's drop off the farmer we got. And then we need to move up the manhunters. Crushers, men at arms. Let's go to the tavern while that guy is still here. Yeah, looters of 18, you know, that's 32 bucks only. You know, it's just like, it's like a recruit. Tiger bandits. Ooh, Kurgit Lancers. These are at 161. I think they're just one level below uh, knights. Wow. Huh. So, okay. Oh, then we go to the marketplace. Yes, we have a bunch of junk to sell off. Let's see. You know, they rarely offer anything really good. Armor. Oh, we bought one. Yeah, I still, st I still have to give out this armor. Okay. Uh, hold on. I thought we, yeah, we got a bunch of junk. Heavy flange maze, nomad bow. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's get out of here. So we didn't add, <laughs> we just added one person to this. 626 now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think let us check uh, what is Lesolit wearing? Okay, is that's pretty good. Uh, Lezalit Ferentis, how about Bahester? Let me see your equipment. Oh, 4113. So we bought this one. Uh, no, this is 41 and 9. No, I thought we bought. Oh, I think we gave it out already. Okay, that, that was the in exchange. Okay. Uh, what is he? What kind of bow? Strong nomad bow. Oh. Um, okay, then this is really for Artemanor. Oh, we gave him a bow. Okay, we gave him this already. Okay. I forgot. Okay, oh, no, no. I mean, we have a flange mace. It's better than his current short sword. And we have a Nomad Bow, which he is currently sporting one. Flange Maze, Leather Covered, Boots. Uh, I think uh, this would be better. 41 and 9. Yeah. I think we can sell this. Battered Mail Suit. Yeah, we can sell all of those. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of horse does he have? Lame desert horse. Oh, it's a desert horse. It's just apparently it's been hurt by uh, in the fight. Don't we have a courser or something? Uh, spirited desert horse. Step charger. Wow. We need to get our uh, writing skills up. Uh, I think it's currently at 
three. Okay, uh, there goes our timer, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.